Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. And new things in my closet, guys. So, you guys already know, I just did a video on the Ruslan Paginski hats. And I purchased three. So, I did mention that I may actually send two of them back. And I did. Let me give it a rundown on that before I get into my other hats. I altogether should have two, three, wait, is that going to be five? Let's be this one, this one. It'll be five in total. <laughs> so when I do get them all together, I am going to do a whole video on each hat again, just to kind of break it down for you guys as to why I end up getting an extra large. This particular hat that I got, I did order from the Ukraine again. And I said this before, I am ordering from the Ukraine. It's just solely so I could get the extra large. Basically, when you order from the Ukraine, you have a better chance of getting an extra large or a 2X. And I want to say they even got a 3X. Now, if you get a 3X, that might be extremely big. Unless you're wearing like super big hair. And that's just probably going to look a little strange to be quite honest. So, this particular hat, same process. This is the one that they emailed me and said that it was back in stock. So, when they say back in stock, they had to make this hat. And it's probably because of the material. So, again, I mentioned the customs last week. And a friend of mine told me that if you get something from another country and it goes through customs, you would not be able to get your item if you had to pay something, meaning they would call me at the moment when the item is there, um, and then I would have to pay to release it. So she said I should be okay, but I'm still gonna do a little bit more research just to make sure that I don't have to pay anything extra. Let me just get into this hat really quick. It's gonna be a quick video. This is the leather Baker Boy hat. This is on my list from like forever. And I haven't seen, honestly, I haven't seen anybody in this hat. I'm just going to come closer and get out the way so you guys can see. Um, and that's the hat. This is an extra large. I got an extra large. And under here is the same material as the other one. So again, I got an extra large because I feel like it sits on my head better. This week I have my hair in a ponytail, same unit, but I just have it down. So it's still the same thickness to be quite honest. Um, but when I put this hat on, it just goes right on. Like, simple, I like the way it fits here. It's bigger than the other two. Uh, the red one was an extra large, like I said, so this is fitting like the, the red one. And again, can you guys see well, I have this like behind my ears, but let me see if I can. Yeah. So this one, it just slides on better here. Feels a lot better in the front. Um, this is still the same distance as the large hat was. So it doesn't come all the way down. I've said, I said this in the last video. If you guys couldn't really see because my hair was down. It fits the same distance from ear to hat, even on the large. What I noticed that was different this looked a little bit bigger, which is why I sent the straw one back and that taupe color back because the red one just gave off a better look in my opinion. So I had to pay to send it back. Okay, now let's get into the price, send it back. When I first got the hat, I could have sworn the shipping said 38 bucks. <laughs> they wanted me to pay for the shipping to go back and to come back. That was $110. So people were like, well, why don't you just sell the hat? Um, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Most people are going to want a discount on the hats. And I wasn't trying to do that. Honestly, the straw hat was the same as this. And I said this, that the straw hat was like nice straw. It wasn't like that Brixton hat where it was, it was essentially like, it was basically spray painted. The one from Ruskin Baginski was not like that. So it had like two different shades of straw. Very pretty hat. I would prefer the extra large. And you always want to get something that you are going to wear and that you want. Not halfway satisfied. Because they're very expensive hats, 
you want to be 100% satisfied. So once I realized that the large was a little bit more narrow here, as opposed to the extra large, I was like, okay, I'm sold. I want the extra large. It sits on better than the large, in my opinion, on my head. Uh, but if you want the large, it's, the large is still okay, but that slight inch or two, whatever here, <laughs> it does help the hat look a little bit bigger on the head if that makes sense guys so again so here's the hat and i'm gonna come closer so you guys can see most of you guys are probably used to seeing like the green color uh the wool green color maybe the red one maybe a black with red stitching um you probably seen the straw one a light color one but this is the one it doesn't have any logo on it which I absolutely love so people are gonna wonder what type of hat this is and then I'll tell them so but yeah this is a quick little unboxing so it's gonna be a short video but I wanted to make it focus on the hat in the video and patent leather right here leather on the rest of the hat really nice hat What do you guys think? I love it. It's so my speed. They do, let me just make sure they have a 3X. I'm almost 100% sure they do. And if you wanted a 2X, I think a 3X would be too big to be quite honest. Like I'm serious. Maybe a 2X if you wear like big, big curly hair. But um, let's see let's just make sure and the shipping i said it last week i don't think the shipping is that bad they all of their hats are back in stock right now they've been out of i want to say since covid they were like on the low low like no items in stock so let me just pull this up and see if they have three eggs I want to say they do, guys. Let me just pull up one. Okay, so that's 2X. Maybe it's just a 2X. Uh, yeah, so it's a 2X. I thought I saw a 3X on one of them. No, 2X. But still, 2X is still cool. Two, oh, I knew I saw 3X. In the size chart, it says... They have a triple X, um, but I don't see it on any of the hats. And that's probably a custom asking them to do a, a 3X. Yeah, because all the hats that I'm clicking on, they are only going up to a 2X. But I can't wait for the other two to come back because it's gonna be super cute. But um, this is the hat, guys. Quick video. Nothing too long. I just wanted to show you guys this. If you're interested in this, I'm going to link it below. If you are a person who does not like logos, definitely go for this hat. It's dope. I don't care. It's dope. When I use the word dope in my, at my big age, it's because I'm an 80s baby. I love it. I'm glad I have it in my collection. So let me know what you guys think. Are you into Baker Boy caps? If not, are you into fedoras? What type of hat do you like? Do you like baseball caps? Are you a hat person in general or any type of headgear? I also love turbans. And they're so hard to find, like, really, really nice, good quality ones. Outside of going to, like, an actual site that specializes in it, you know? But I do like a lot of headgear. I think it's really nice as a good accessory to throw on besides your earrings and stuff. But let me know what you guys think. Quick video, Ruslan Baginski, the leather Baker Boy hat in a size extra large. I will always get extra large if I purchase any more of their hats. So thank you guys for tuning into this video, this quick little unboxing and haul. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog over here, CocoStylesNYC.com and my style services. 
CocoStylesNY.com and I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk for the time being if they really shut them down. CocoStylesNYC and I will catch you guys in the next one.